The best part about doing this was doing it with you. I don't want Charlotte. I want Millie and Mouth in the morning and evening and all the time. Mouth and Millie. Really? <laughs> That's just great. I'm sitting up here looking like a damn fool. My bird feet are sweating, and I don't even got the job. You know what? I'm flipping both of you the me. Sarah died out. I was always looking back at what I had lost and how my life was supposed to be. But somewhere on the way, you changed all that. And when I walk in the door and I see you, I feel like the weight of my day just falls away. I miss you in forever ways. You taught me to look forward again to days and nights with you. And I love you so much for that. When I was a little girl, my dad used to read the paper every Sunday. My mom would read a book nearby. And I would sit at the top of our stairs and just watch them. Watch them be still together. When I think of being that's what I picture. Days like that. And nights like this. Shut your mouth. This all goes gray. One bell, one my feet, one bell, one they go away. This is Julian. Brooke. Baby, I'm right here. are here and you're here our family's gonna be just fine Understand that you're gonna be okay. Okay, so don't be afraid or intimidated by all this stuff. You know, because the thing is, your mom is Brooke Davis. And her strength is enough for all of us.
What did you see? You know what I saw. I saw my son. You're telling me that he's my son? I'm not telling you anything. You have to tell me. How'd you do this? You're screwing with my head. Clay, I haven't done anything. Like I said before, I believe your mind has been trying to tell you something for quite some time now. So you've known about this the whole time? You let me walk around unaware of my own child for years? Until I'm some sort of zombie waking up on merry-go-rounds? Why the hell didn't you tell me? We tried. Who's we? Sarah's parents, me. Clay, I told you every day after Sarah died. I told you, but you blocked it out. You weren't ready. I'm not ready now either. He said that you told him he's gonna be leaving soon. Why? Because he's gonna be leaving with me? He's not leaving with me. Clay? Wanna put the plane back together now? Clay, are you ready? Clay? Is everything okay? You know that breakthrough that we were hoping for? I had it. Look. It's okay. Nothing you say is gonna change us. I promise. Forgive me, Nathan. I just don't know what else to do. You? Tell me what you know. This is your house special. <gasps> Mac and cheese. Food of the gods. And for dessert. What are you up to, Nathan Scott? It's OK to have dessert first. Oh, honey. 
You're beautiful. This will just be a nice accessory. Now, don't say that you never gave me anything, because you have given me an amazing life. And I do love you so. If you can't see it, you're thirsty. Don't go too far, bud. So what do you want to do for the next hour of your life? Oh, we could get some lunch. We could get married and then get some lunch. <laughs> if you want. I thought you wanted a big wedding. Fancy dress, banana cream pies. I just want to be your wife before we adopt our son. And just one more signature right here. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Evans. It's a boy. 